Hey everybody, how's it going? It's a Daily Shooter, and today I've got something pretty cool for you. We're going to be doing an unboxing, or I guess you could say in this case an unbagging, of some night vision. This is a PVS-14 monocular from Tribe Defense. We also have a Tribe Defense magnifier that we're going to be taking a look at here. Again, this is not a review, it's just kind of a first look and unboxing. Uh, but uh, we have an entire kit in this bag right here, pretty much everything you need uh, in order to start using your PVS-14. So we're going to take out all the contents, show you guys what you get with this kit, the kits do range in price, uh, and that's because you can choose with or without the magnifier. You can choose uh, green phosphor, you can choose white phosphor, uh, and different generations. There's a Gen 2 and a Gen 3. The one that we're going to be taking a look at today is going to be a Gen 3 in white. So let's go ahead and open this thing up so I can show you guys what's inside. Now, for those people who've never heard of Tribe Defense before, they're a company that sells exclusively through Optics Planet. And I know there's some people out there who are upset with Optics Planet shipping. So I talked to them just the other day, and they said that they hired more than a dozen new people to work in the shipping department. So hopefully things will start speeding up over there in terms of, you know, getting your orders out as fast as possible. Just remember to always make sure before you order anything from Optics Planet to click that little check available availability thing, and it will tell you if the item is in stock or if the item's going to be in stock in three weeks weeks, three months, or three years. Check availability before you buy anything from Optics Planet. That's that's all I can tell you. But since this is sold at Optics Planet, you can use my discount code, uh, which is daily, and that'll save you a little bit of money on some night vision, which in this case, I believe that'll save you more than 150 bucks. So that's a pretty good deal. Now, before we take a look at the bag itself, there's a little tag sticking off here, and I know that might be a little bit difficult to see. I'll see if I can kind of roll that in here. But uh, that tag will tell you this is a white phosphor and a little bit more information about the manufacturer and so forth. So uh, let me go and flip this over. On the back, we have uh, you know a couple different tabs and some lanyards to use this as like a pack or lash it to different things. We can go ahead and move that to the side. We've got a couple D-rings that that lashes to right there. And then a zipper pouch. So we'll go ahead and undo this little zipper pouch and that's gonna have all of our contents inside. Go ahead and open this thing up. You're gonna find a couple different bags. The first bag that you have in here, this pink one, that's gonna be your night vision uh, monocular right there. The next bag is going to contain your headset. Remember, we're gonna go ahead and uh, you know unbag all of these. So that contains your headset. In the back right here, you're gonna find a mount for it. And then I believe the next thing that we have here is actually gonna be in this Velcro section right here. And we pull that out. We got uh, our instruction manual. We have a couple rings, your battery, and some lanyards right there. So you get that stuff in the kit. Okay, so I went ahead and I took the plastic off so you guys can see what comes in the kit. Now, uh, as we look at this stuff, try and keep in mind that getting a kit like this with a PVS-14 monocular is probably going to be one of the most economical ways to get into good night vision. I'm not just talking night vision. I mean, you can find some night vision stuff out there for 500 bucks, you know, digital night vision, budget night vision, things like that. But it compares in no way to something like this. A Gen 3 PVS-14 is gonna work out much, much better than those things. So if you wanna get into good night vision, this is a great starter kit to really get you in the door. And then, you know, if you want to grow from there and, you know, make a, a bigger, better kit as you move on in life and get more money, then you could do that. But again, this is a great way to be able to see uh, in the dark without you know, having to refinance your house or sell your car or something. So here we have our PVS-14 right here, okay? This is the actual night vision monocular right here. Uh, we have a mount. This is gonna be the mount that attaches to the monocular, and then it also attaches to the uh, head strap or head mount right here. So basically, uh, it's just like a, it's like a halo that goes over your head and it kind of grabs onto your head. It's got uh, a little bit of an elastic band in the back right here, so it stretches out. And then to hold it on the top of your head, it's got these bands that come across the top. And then it also has a, uh, a cup for your chin as well, because obviously you're gonna be putting this weight kind of way out there at the end, right? And when it's up, you got all that weight kind of leaning on it. And so you want that extra, uh, you know, that extra material and the extra straps and the, everything else that you're gonna need in order to kind of balance that weight if it's not attached to a helmet. If you have a helmet on, you can always go ahead and attach this directly to your helmet and then get yourself some type of uh, counterweight that you could put on the back of your helmet if you have a pouch back there, just kind of even out the weight on the helmet. But uh, this thing actually works just fine and you can go ahead and you can make adjustments on this so that uh, the monocular sits right over your eye because you have this eye cup right here. Uh, this is supposed to pretty much cover 
cover your eye completely. And what that does is the, the white or green light, whatever light is being emitted from this uh, onto your face, if anybody else is using night vision, they're gonna be able to see that. And so you have this eye cup right here that is supposed to reduce the amount of light signature that somebody else could see that, again, is also using night vision. So you want that to be nice and up to your face. This allows you to kind of change that distance from your head just by simply pushing in this button right here and then uh, it kind of rides on this little guide rod right there so it's it's not a bad setup you know it's uh it's nothing super fancy i would prefer and i'm probably going to get a mount to mount this to my helmet but for now this will work just fine and it comes with two different sizing bands so uh, if you want to put these in the front right here you can add these we have small and large uh, for a small head and a large head and uh, those will allow you to get this set up to whatever size melon you got so uh, that's what comes in our kit right there again with the pouch so so now that you guys have seen that let's take a closer look at the monocular itself Okay, so here's a closer look at the unit itself. You can see right here it says Tribe PVS-14. Uh, we'll take a quick look around the unit. So this is gonna be our battery compartment right here. It is tethered to the optic. So we can go ahead and push that to the side. This is gonna take just a standard AA battery. Uh, that's why they provide you a standard AA battery. But for me, I like to use uh, the you know AA lithium batteries, like a good premium AA, because these things only have, I believe the runtime's around 40 hours. But if you use a better battery, you could probably extend out that life just a little bit longer. Uh, you also have this pinhole cap, which is pre-installed right there. The pinhole cap allows you to use this in brighter light. So there's a little pinhole in the center right there, and it allows just a little bit of light into this thing so that it doesn't damage any of the internals. More than likely, you wouldn't damage them anyway. But if you're in an environment that's a little bit too bright and you want to tamp that down, you can use this with the cap on, and that pinhole will allow you to see through this thing uh, in you know brighter conditions so i'm not sure exactly why you would want to do that but it's there just to kind of keep everything safe because this is a waterproof shockproof uh you know optic right here it is an aluminum body but it has a polymer shell over it to give it a little bit more uh, rigidity now on the bottom of the unit you're going to find that threaded hole right there that's going to be for your mount and uh, i mean it's a very simple very simple design i mean the technology is amazing but uh, the design is very simple. Again, on, off, focus, cap on, cap off, battery. Uh, that's, you know, you can uh, change the intensity and stuff like that, but uh, it's, uh, you know, fairly simple to use. There, it's not in any way going to confuse you if you get one of these. You'll be able to use it right out of the box, even if you've never used night vision before. And that's, I think, one of the things that a lot of people like about this stuff. Uh, it's very easy to use, and it allows you to see in low light situations. So um, I'll go ahead and I'll see if I can get some video footage for you in the garage, in the dark, with the lights off, uh, and kind of see what this thing looks like while it's on. Again, this is going to be the white phosphor. Okay, so it's a little bit difficult to see because my camera is not doing well looking through this night vision. Uh, but you can see what it looks like right there. Uh, it's pretty nice, obviously, because it's in uh, a specific color. You're not going to see the colors of the flag. You know, you can kind of make out the stars back there and the stripes just a little bit. And I'll try and get this in a little bit closer if I can. And I obviously can't focus it or anything right now because I'm behind the camera. But uh, you can kind of get an idea. I have a setup that I'm going to use to get uh, footage through here so you guys can see it a little bit better. But uh, for now, we just kind of have to stick with this so you guys can see at least just a little bit of a glimpse of what it looks like through here. Uh, when we get to the full review, I'll get the actual camera set up so you guys can see a little bit better. I have some ambient light coming in at the bottom. It's really almost not even visible. It's just a little corner of light, but when you look at it through this, it uh, looks like quite a bit of light. So anyway, that's what it looks like at least through the test camera for now. And I'll try and get you guys better footage here uh, during the review. Now, like I said before, this is just a first look and an unboxing of the PVS-14 from Tribe Defense. This is in no way a review because I haven't used this yet. So uh, once we actually get to use it, we take it out and do a little bit of shooting and have some fun with it, then I'll come back to you guys with a full review. If you guys have any questions about this unit, questions about night vision, costs, or anything else like that, uh, go ahead and leave your comment down in the comment section and I'll try and get to that. Uh, plus, we have a lot of great people that go down in the comment section and read things and answer people, so they might be able to answer your question as well. It's just a great place to get together uh, and you know share information that you might have I have some great commenters on my optics uh, reviews and stuff like that that go down there and answer questions for people it's just a, an excellent community I have some great subscribers so go ahead and leave your question and uh, we'll get to it so there again the tribe defense PBS 14 from optics planet use discount code daily have a great one